All right, let's take a look at the Relay Demo LabVIEW project. I have my relay and associated driver circuit out here. The relay driver is being controlled by my digital output number zero. Let me go ahead and run the VI and we see the DIO state oscillating back and forth when it's in cycle mode. And at this point you should be hearing your relay clicking on and off. You can put that on manual mode and then simply pick which state you would like. When you put it back on cycle, then it simply oscillates. Here you can select which digital output you would like to use. We have a number of digital outputs available on connectors A, B, and C. And here I'll leave it with DIO7 on connector C. Of course, it's cycling the digital output but since my re relay isn't connected to that, then I don't hear anything. Now I will point out that anytime you change the DIO channel, you need to rerun the VI. That's because the channel selection happens outside of the loop. All right, well, let's dig into the advanced IO capabilities for my Rio a little bit. Let me go ahead and pin that sub palette here. The open sub VI opens a channel to one or more digital outputs. It always wants an array. That's why I'm using build array here, even though I only have a single scalar control to specify the digital output channel. Once we've opened a channel, we can pass that task off to the right VI. Now right also expects an array. Therefore, I take my scalar boolean, convert that to an array. All right, everything in this area is associated with causing the relay to cycle on and off or to switch it into manual mode. When the cycle button is active, we select the inverted version of the previous value of that digital control to the relay. When cycle is active, it also selects the slower loop time of 200 milliseconds. Now when cycle is false, then the manual control takes effect and we just pipe that value directly out to the relay coil. Also notice that when cycle is false, it picks the high speed loop period of 10 milliseconds. And that guarantees that we pull the front panel sufficiently fast for the manual button to appear like it's doing something. The air cluster is ORed together with the stop button back here on the front panel control. And uh, pressing the stop button or an air condition, either one of those will break us out of the loop, pass through the simple air handler, and then execute a MyRio reset. And that causes the output to revert back to input mode.